27 and welcome back to Rule of Waves 3 in our Spanish playthrough after, oh, about three weeks, I think, of a break in the end, uh, which was longer than planned, but c'est la vie. But here we are now. Uh, just as a quick recap, we are in the middle of a naval treaty, which is restricting the size of our fleet. And so we have been... Uh, modernizing the ships we do have without really expanding uh, our force as a whole but one area we have been moving ahead is in aircraft tech and we have our own purpose-built cvl and we are currently converting uh, an old italian battle cruiser into our first purpose-built cv uh, so that's where we're progressing at the moment uh, the world is fairly peaceful we've got a little bit of tensions with italy so that might be where the war erupts uh, other than that, we were hoping for maybe some shenanigans out in the Far East, but it's never quite happened, and, you know, we can only force so much. Um, just before I came back live, I did go through my fleet, and I've put a few things onto Mothball and into Reserve, just because I, 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 and although tensions are high, I'm not sure we need to have them all on active fleet just yet. Um, and if war breaks out, We'll jump onto active, and I don't think it's going to be too much of a, a loss there. I, I really are. Battleships here aren't good for anything, really, to be honest. I think if we're going to win the next war, it's going to be through, probably through air power, actually, uh, potentially leaning into our CV. Although it depends if our, so our CVL, if our CV is built in time, because it's still a year out. One of the things we're going to look at is, is last time we were having the problem of too much money, which is an interesting one to have. And it... Uh, I had crossed my mind, I was also suggesting, is that one way around the treaty limitations is you can start building a bunch of ships and then when they get near completion you can throw them, just for example, onto halt construction. Um, you do have to pay a small nominal fee, but essentially we can have these things resting indefinitely about one month out and then when war breaks you can uh, suddenly have a much larger na navy. It's it's. A sensible play it's a little bit gamey so i wouldn't want to maybe go too excessively with it but i might lay down a few ships uh to keep in reserve but we'll we're in an exit at the minute so we'll let ones we have built get at least towards finishing before we make a decision on that front uh there's not much else to do i don't think oh we can have a quick double check on relations again just as a a re uh hash so ourselves and japan are in alliance and america and france are in alliance but apart from that the world's yeah it's peaceful enough uh, I would probably take another quick war with Italy, um, one just to, to kind of put our ships to test and also to move away from these t treaty restrictions which are uh, very restrictive, fair to say. Right, let's advance some time. It's September 1923. Uh, okay, um, Austro-Hungary has approached the Ministry of the Navy with suggestion we curb our naval programme. Uh, no, I don't really care about Austro-Hungary, I can annoy them if they want. Uh, Eritrea is now <laughs> independent, uh, which is okay. So it's it, it's fine because it weakens Italy, I suppose. It's not an area of the map we're currently trying to expand in, but as I've mentioned many times, you can't take control of a neutral territory. So sometimes it's a bit frustrating when your opponents lose territory because then you can't capture it from them. The US is going to give us 20-inch quality minus one. Ooh. Uh, as ever, I'll always buy tech because that lets our scientists work on something else, even if we're not particularly interested in this, uh, which we're not because we um, can't use it at the minute because of the tree restrictions. 10 inch, in fact, it's twice as big as the current legally allowed gun size. Uh, well, apparently, we have a technology sharing agreement with Austria Hungary. Well, I'd forgotten all about that. There we go. Turrets and gun mountings, okay. Yeah, we're, our submarine research is doing poor leagues who don't have subs, but. Womp womp. I don't want to spend the tonnage on it, so we'll uh, we'll just do without for just now. We ah, it's right. We were building some coastal batteries around the place. So I expect a few of these to pop now. Uh, Guantanamo, Sardinia, Eastern Spain. That was fine to beef up our defences a little bit as well as make use of the money we had. Okay, excellent a boost in torpedoes thanks to Austro-Hungary. Right, moving into the start of 1924. Okay, we've been asked about the preparations for annual Army Navy football game. I mean, since we're at peace, since we're at a, a world of treaty limitations, let's uh, let's go for it. Huzzah! We beat them. Take that, Army boys. Ah, uh, scientists struggling with weight saving. Fine. Ah, naval patrol aircraft. What do we got? 
okay. What kind of range is we looking at? So that's a lot shorter range. So that immediately seems unpleasant, although it's tougher. Uh, this is marginally longer range, slightly less maneuverable. I don't think that's really a problem. Slightly tougher. I think this one's going to be a winner for us. It's an extra kind of mm, 15 to 20%-ish on range as well. It's, it's uh, a bit faster on the cruise as well, so it should cover its distance quicker as well. So yeah, we'll take that. Good stuff. Uh, if we go back to our aircraft types, anything else looking a little old at this point? Uh, our torpedo bombers are three years out. So let's have a request for proposals for those. Range... I don't want range. Yeah, I do want range, I think. Probably toughness, so they survive long enough to uh, get their their uh, torpedoes away. Don't really care about bomb load because they're always going to be on... Well, not always going to be on heavy. Sometimes you can get the torpedo load down to medium, but that, I'd say we're a fair way away from a tech to be able to comfortably do that. Avanti. So are we doing five or six months out before we got to make a decision on whether we're going to hold them or scrap our old ones? Better HAA, nice. Not much of that on our ships at the moment. We've stolen weight saving. Okay, three months out. A boost to our industrial production, which means more money. And war, or not war, but murder in the Balkans. Uh, a prerequisite to many terrible events. So we could really push tensions. This would probably throw us into a war with Italy. I'm not necessarily against that. If we could go for a quick one. How's Italy doing? They have one battleship. We do have five battle cruisers. A few heavy cruisers. A few lights. And I'll... Oh, raft of destroyers. So the one downside, throwing ourselves into war with Italy. Um, obviously, war treaty ends, so all our other opponents are going to start building up quite significantly as well. Which means the edge we have, the slight edge we have at the minute in terms of air power over everyone bar, I think it's bar Britain and America, yeah, would uh, probably rapidly come to an end. I'm sorry, you've built a 28,000 ton CVL. No, surely not. Potentially one is being upgraded or converted, or I don't know, Germany. That seems odd. Do I know anything about it? Nope, no, you have indeed uh, refit one of your 28,000 ton battleships, battle cruisers, whichever one this was, as a CVL. Wow, with 16 aircraft. That's. Incredibly inefficient. Go for you. Good for you, Germany. Uh, yeah, okay. We have this tree's now been in place for almost four years. I think we're going to go for it. A quick war. Let's get some money. And we'll move on from there. Uh, we are probably going to have to uh, rapidly put out some Corvettes for trade protection. In fact, I'm probably going to design those now. And we may even do... Do I want to do AMCs for raiding? Or do I think I'm going to get um, be able to s inflict sufficient losses on Italy here that we can blockade them? Oh, it's not showing us our proper points because we are... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not all an active fleet. I think we could inflict some damage on their ships quickly enough that we could blockade them. Uh, but we are going to design ourselves a quick Corvette and just get some of those starting to prep, starting to build, because it takes a little time. Um, you know, to design one. We want these are going to be yeah, yeah, nice and light, because these are just trade protection. We don't really need to be fast. Let's drop it down to 20 knots. Okay, so really all we want here is cheap. I mean, I could even... Does that really change the price much? No, nah, not really. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, I don't think I want mines. I do want mines sweeping. 
which does hurt your ASW and I think that's okay. Because I don't think I have minesweeping on any of my other ships at the minute. Hang on. Let's double check. Let's double check. What have we got? We have mines on you two. Uh, yeah, destroyers are all nice in ASW. Yeah, because it hurts it when you're trying to do both. It kind of halves your, your ASW value from your minesweeping as well. So maybe we'll just go for... Well, do you know what I should do, actually, is have my... Uh, I was going to say my colonial ones to do minesweeping and my tree protection ones to do ASW. But that's actually wrong around because my tree protection are going to be in the same place essentially as my main fleet uh, because it... it we don't have to be geographically located for those ones. You can just all sit in your home zone. So, yeah, I think having them as minesweepers. So rather than continue to whitter on air, I decided to have a quick pause and think about it. And, and ultimately, I want both, right? Because you do want ASW around the place, and you do want minesweepers around the place. So. In reality, what I'm going to do is rather than say, let's design uh, a corvette that has both because that impacts it, why don't I just have two, two corvettes and just split them up? It's a little more faffy. We can make them work. Um, I don't think we need to do... We're just going to go 600. Uh, I'm going to slow you down because why not? I don't really need to. I mean, how much does that affect your speed? It cost actually a fair chunk, so nice, slow. Um, I don't really think you need armor. Do you have secondary guns? You shouldn't have secondary guns. Okay. I don't think you need those. Uh, I don't think you need AA guns. But I will give you... Well, you guys can be that, my... Don't be mine. You guys... Well, no, mine's I suppose. Why not? Because that doesn't hurt your DC. You guys can have W, and then we'll build... I don't know. Maybe I might throw out 10 of each of these. And then we can have... And we'll do an, an, a minesweeping class as well. Uh, am I missing anything? I could make them even slower, but let's not go too too ridiculous with that. I wonder if it's going to be upset because I've got so much weight left over. Nope. Okay, give me one of those. Um, right, let's just go... We will have the Deflin ASW. Okie dokie. Sure. And then I would like another one. I'll build some design ship. We're going to build another Corvette, and that's going to be our Minesweeper. Yes. No, shrink yourself. 620 knots. I think we left one inch of belt on Deflin. You don't need any deck armor. You don't need any. I can't remember if we left her armor or not. And you are going to be a Minesweeper, and you don't need DC storage. It actually has no impact on ASW value. Uh, and you don't need secondary guns. And you don't need any of this. I think that's everything. Probably miss something as I'm skipping through that uh, rate of knots, but anyway, that'll do. Uh, okay, and then after having mothballed everyone, let's get them back onto active fleet. Yes, we do. Um, excellent, and then see what happens. New docks. Oh, the other thing we want to lay down, which I'll get to in a moment, is some new foreign stations corvettes to. to replace our cruisers as well, so we can bring them back into fight. Okay, a new fighter a couple of years later. It is not as fast. Um, it does go further. A little bit tougher, less maneuverable. I'm not that enamored by it. We do have poor reliability though. So do you know what? I think we'll take it. 
if we had average reliability, I would say no, but I'd rather, I mean, it's it's not, I wouldn't say it's better, I wouldn't say it's necessarily worse, so why not try and re-roll reliability and see if we can improve. Right, Minesweeper is ready, so let's build, I can't remember how many tree protection ships we needed last time. But let me build, see, do I want to build 10 of each as much as that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, good. Uh, you are now going to go on to halt construction. And you are going to go on to halt construction. Because if war's about to break out imminently, I don't want to have to scrap, scrap a bunch of light cruisers. Excellent. Ah, oh, that could be poor timing. A new to be bar. What do we want? Toughness we asked for. They're all much for muchness. Uh, range on heavy, because that's where torpedo is. So some very minor improvements. Uh, I'm tempted, I think, to go for this one. Slightly shorter range. Actually, that's well, fairly chunk percentage-wise. But it's a bit tougher. It's a bit more maneuverable. Has the same speed. I just want to go range into hell with survivability. Mm, yeah, let's go for the offense. Let's have our ability to strike more than anything else. Okay, oh! Looks like war may not be on the cards. Okay, let's hold you for just now. One more month. After naval visit by Austria Hungary, a journalist asked by a journalist to comment on their visiting ships. Uh, the rubbish. I will insult you, Austria Hungary. Yeah, okay, fine. Germany's the only one we have to watch. I don't really want a war with them. Apart from that, I'll happily scrap with anyone else in the med. Uh, okay, we should be down to one month on here. Let's put a hole in there. After a while, I may just launch them and scrap my old light cruisers. And the Francesco Caracacola has finished. Oh, tell you what I need to do here. Oh, the Italians are ratcheting up tensions. Interesting. Uh, is rename our Glorious CV? I not do it here. That's okay, found it. She couldn't see it. It's under name and picture. This is going to be the Atlantia. This was suggested in the comments for the last video by well by a user with an an alphanumeric name, but I am could not parse if I tried uh, with my life depended on it, so I'm not gonna try. Uh, but thanks for that. So we'll have Atlantia as our first C V. Awesome. Uh, oh, things are looking pretty interesting. You guys got seven months before I have to worry about that. Uh, let's lay down some forestation. Uh, no, let's design some foresta foreign station corvettes while we're at it. Uh, docks can get very busy if we're not careful. So these are the ones we want to be 1600 tons with colonial service. Nothing else particularly matters. Again, we can slow them down to make them a little bit cheaper. Um, and these are ones I would like to focus on ASW rather than the mine sweeping. Good. Uh, sure, you can have mines, because why not do a little bit of mine laying when you don't really need light A, although how much does that impact the cost? Uh, a little bit. Enough for me not to bother with it. Ooh. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. anything else we need to do? I don't really need armored turrets. Armored secondaries, you shouldn't have secondaries. We'll get rid of those in a minute. The four inch guns, I think that's probably fine. Uh, 
Oh, hang on. Didn't want that ticked anyway. Must have built armor if it has armored guns. Uh, oh, and we were saying we were giving our archivets one inch of built armor, weren't we? Fine and dandy. Yep, do that. Really good. See the Atlantis no air units. Ah, yes, let us go here. Uh, so we had some interesting conversations about the mix of uh, of planes you want to put on your CV and how you split it between your fighters and your um, dive bombers and your torpedo bombers. I think certainly it'll change over time. Early on in naval aviation, certainly as far as railways goes, torpedo bombers are far way more effective. And then I think as time goes by, they gradually get replaced by dive bombers, both as um, I think AA gets better at knocking out torpedo bombers before they actually get a chance to release their torpedoes. Uh, but also as torpedo defense increases as well and they're less effective as knocking ships out. And you want your dive bombers also very good at hitting other flat tops and putting holes in their flight deck, which makes it very difficult for them to launch more planes. Uh, where does that leave us for just now? Well, it means we're going to have um, a main, mainly fighters and torpedo bombers. In fact, we don't even know what dive bombers are at the minute. Uh, so we're going to want probably two sets of fighters, so we'll need some cat, we'll want some one escort ones. Uh, let's start with torpedo bombers first. So if I want two groups of torpedo bombers or just one big attack wing. Do you know what, I might just go for one big attack wing of torpedo bombers. And then if I want slightly less fighters, I'll probably change the numbers sl uh, shortly. Would that get me up to... Let's just throw in some groups of fighters for just now and then I think I've got five left over to try and spread out so I could have in fact yeah let's go for a fairly even split at the minute so we're going to go to Peter Walmers and then we'll change you down so we're going to have yeah just half and half to Peter Walmers and fighters uh, to be honest we probably won't even do that much in the way of escorts at the minute in fact, um, you guys can get the extra plane as well. Eleven. There we go. I could even trim down my fighters, but I will leave it for that point. I will have a, have some defense, I think, especially if we're in the med, because you'll get the land-based aircraft you've got to deal with uh, also. Yes, yes. Um... Yes, I'm going to tweak it ever so slightly. I'm going to put it just ever so much in the favor of beta bombers. Okay, 23 to 18. That seems okay. Good. You guys are all building your design study. That's okay. Japan would like an alliance. I'm happy with this. We've had it before. Might stave off a war, but we shall see. Advances in AA, I like it. Medium AA weapons, okay. Ooh. Double war. Uh, we shall not go to the building because I want to double check how many I need. So if I look at who have we got out in foreign stations in a minute, we've got the Baltico. Which we need, I think we need 8,000 tons worth, that's four. And then the Puerto Rico, we needed three. So that's seven right there. Uh, and then what do we need in Southeast Asia? If we want to replace our. Oh, I quite like having a, a fleet over here at 6,000 tons, so that's another three. All right, yeah, so four, five, six, seven. Already got some there. Ten. Okie dokie. Oh, we still have the ones from 1920. Probably could have just built them. But anyway, we'll um, build our new ones, because why not? Ah. Now this is where the other limitation comes in. Okay. Not 
problem. So also we can have so much stuff lying on the slip line, slip slipways for so long, uh, but it does block it eventually. Uh, I don't doesn't really bother me. I'm just going to build eight of these then. Seven of these. Remember the math. Try seven. Oh, I can cannot build any of these. What have we got? Oh, don't make me do maths. Well, I've got 20 of those, which is 12,000. 18, 24, 6, 12, 18, 24. And then all of these, which for some reason aren't counting against the 24,000. That doesn't make sense. That should be 36,000 we've got in total. Oh, which makes that still under our line. So we can't put it, lay down any more ships in a minute. Fine. So if war does not come soon, although it looks like it will, I will launch the light cruisers and we'll lay down some other stuff. Uh, rebellion in the German possession of Tanganyika. Just not going to get involved. Don't want to anger Germany. Don't really care about Tanganyika right now. Wow, this is uh, surprisingly tense, yet not a lot happening. Okay. We've got five months before they're going to pop out, so that's not a problem. Let's keep going. Ideally, I suppose you'd want them to war to start a month just before they are ready, one month before they're ready. And then we'd have our trade protection ships good to go. Uh, yes, thank you, Japan. I will buy anything you're selling me. Dual purpose gun mounts. Oh, okay, excellent. That's handy. Three and four dual purpose guns. Good. We can improve our ships when we get around to refits. And we break through on rate of fire penalties for guns below inches turrets. Oh, excellent. That'll improve a lot of our lighter vessels. New fires in service. New torpedo bombers in service. Excellent. And we roll somehow still at peace into 1925. A scandal involving some important dignities from Japan has occurred. Uh, I don't really want to embarrass Japan, they're my friend. So we'll just hush it up. Yep, submarines still suffer because I haven't built any, which is fine. Convoy system and rebellion in Tanjanika. This is um, really odd that we've been sitting at 11 for several months without war. Get three months. Buy from Great Britain. I, I don't want to anger Great Britain. Better torpedoes, excellent. Ah, catapults. Oh, that is exciting, actually. And a new fighter. Okay, what have we got? Uh, marginally faster. Marginally more range. Marginally tough. It looks like just a marginal improvement. I'll take it, thank you very much. Cost you a little bit of money, but that's okay. Uh, oh, and you've given us another aircraft. Dookie Dookie, which is slower. Goes a bit further. So that's it. Um, as it stands, I think our fighters go further on lights than our torpedo bombers do on heavies. There's no real need for the increased range, so I'm okay for it just now, thank you. The head of naval aviation wishes to bring to your attention that we could develop medium bombers. Excellent. Let's do that. Uh, what do I want from you? Well, carry big bombs and go pretty far, I think. Well, yeah, yeah, probably. That would be a good addition to our land base. Is our land bases. Still no war. One more month, we've got to make some more decisions. I don't want those corvettes to finish because they will absolutely mess up our treaty limits for our uh, ship tonnage. That would be fairly disastrous. The light cruisers we planned as replacements, that's not the end of the world. Uh, Austrian to be one more, okay. Rebellion Tanjanikin continues, nothing 
particularly of note there, and tensions have dropped. Wow. This is surprising. Okay. We get all these on halt construction. Okay, and at this point, so we've got 24,000 tons tied up in our light cruisers here. I am tempted to let these ones finish. It will result in us scrapping these older Nevada classes, which is, I mean, they're not the oldest ship in the world. That kind of 13 years, uh, but it would free up 12,000 tons of slip weight, or 24,000 tons of slip weight that we could use for other things. Uh, we could either lay down all those foreign station crevettes or we could lay down potentially a couple of CVLs and have them on the back burner for war. I mean, your question is, what would I rather have? Four CLs or two maybe CVLs? I'm to maybe for the CVLs. I think we're leaning set definitely towards the air war for our next uh, tussle. And Italy still nothing. Austro-Hungary it's still nothing. They will, of course, have land bases and things, but uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Let's let these ones finish. We'll get these knocked out. We will replace our light cruiser fleet. The Harrow, the other ones, all good. Weight saving. Germany has killed the rebels. Good for them. And the world has dropped to peace. This is a very oddly peaceful game. Okay, so we're now over our treaty limit. We do want to make sure these ones don't finish. These ones are also less important because um, it doesn't really matter if we get some tech between when these have been started building and when they finish building. Having outdated corvettes is not really a concern of mine. Uh, we do need to refit some of our destroyers though. which we, not all of them, I might actually wait until they're all obsolete and then we'll have one rebuild. Um, what are we doing? Ah, we are getting rid of our Navarras. Yeah, yeah, they were good ships, but we have better ones. We shall scrap these. I'll put back 400 tons underneath. And then, yeah, I think I think we do line up at least one, if not two CVLs. We've got 24,000 tons. So we could do two 12,000 ton CVLs. Hmm, let's have a look what it looks like. Now again, we run the risk of, if war doesn't break out, some pretty difficult decisions down the line. We've also only got five years left of our treaty time. So it depends how long these things take to build. If I want to do a 12,000 ton CVL, I can't remember if we have weight limitations on CVLs at the minute. Uh, Alright, just design something please, for just now. I guess not, because you've pretty much designed one. Yeah, fine. Um, and we, we do have the ability for some dual purpose guns. Can we just do this? I think we probably can. Let's get rid of you. We don't have dual mounting for this one. The only one. Oh, okay. So I'll just work my way through this list. Where do we have dual mounting for? Are you gonna, I'm about to eradicate all. Is it just secondaries we've done it for? That's a little bit frustrating. Uh, so if we said, I don't really want that much in the way of guns, but let's say we put on midships, just for the sake of having something. And then we could put on a bunch of these as dual purpose. That gives us a reasonable AA. 
You happy with that? You happy with that? Okay, so this is a way around it. I need to see what weight, because really one thing we want to do is get up to 34, which is the maximum planes a CVL can have. Uh, let me just double check that. Yeah. Nope, don't continue, drop it down. And we can also add some catapults. Let's go for uh, forward. Uh, do I want a forward and an aft? I'm not really sure. So technically, we have two catapults. We only need one, to be honest, but we've got two. Um, we've got 34 planes. We have got... What's our A value? Uh, it's around here somewhere. We have an HEA factor of 8. Is that including my DP performance here? It is. Okay. Well, I thought it might be slightly higher than that, but okay. We don't have any directors. Uh, we do can start putting medium and AA on, etc, etc. If we wish, we've got little load capacity. What's our speed? 28. This this seems pretty good. This, probably, this might be heavier than it needs to be. Uh, Speed-wise, 20 uh, is, is probably <laughs> it's faster than our light cruisers at the minute. We could theoretically make it slower. Uh, we don't have any armor on it, and I, I do quite like giving a little bit of armor on our decks. You just make sure you've got no armor here. No, that's fine. If we start armoring the deck, I guess things get very expensive very quickly. Yes, they do. What if we? Yeah, we start to have to sacrifice a lot of speed to get a little bit of deck armor. Our problem is with no deck armor, once dive bombers come along, these things are going to get pummeled. And apart from that, theoretically, they can survive for quite a long uh, time. We could do this, give them 26 knots. What's the Adel Bear at? It's only 24. Still fast on our CVLs. Um, keeps pace with our heavy cruisers. Probably fast enough, to be honest. We could give it a little bit of deck arm, which will make it help it survive just in the early days of dive bombers. Maybe it's it's a maybe it's a halfway house that isn't worth the wait, to be perfectly honest. We don't really need that. Probably a little bit excessive. Let's go for I don't know, say one seven five again. You shouldn't really get planes too much near these. Although having a bit of HE is never going to hurt it. Are we calling this good enough, or do I want more speed and less less deck? Do you know what? I'm going to go for more speed and less deck. Let's go for twenty eight knots. We're going to go survivability by getting out of dodge if it comes to it, and maybe let's put. Oh wow, you can put a lot of a lot of guns on here. Okay. And a little bit better HA factor to try and not get hit in the first place. Hmm. I feel like it's a ridiculous number of turrets we've put on this thing. So it's probably a big CVL. You could, we probably could have done one for about ten thousand. Well, maybe we just look at that. If we if we bring it down to say twelve, fifteen HA seems reasonable as time frame. Can I drop five hundred tons? Not quite. We could save ourselves two hundred tons. That's well. It's what fifteen percent of the weight. No. No, it's not. It's like one and a half percent of the weight. It doesn't feel worth it. I don't think that weight saving justifies having less protection. So why don't we just do something like that? Uh, I don't really like the way they look, though. Uh, 
Okay, that's probably better. Energy factor of 21 is surprisingly good. It's going to drop off a little bit when we lose this. No, no, it didn't. Oh, yeah, because it's not. It's HA. We did our medium and light. Okay. Well, actually, let's leave a little bit of space because planes get heavier over time. All right, so we have... That's a, this is not how I usually build my CVL. So we've got no armor, but we've got a reasonable amount of HA for this time anyway. A reasonable turn of speed. We've got our 34 planes with maxed out our CVL. I'm kind of okay with this. I'm going to worry in about 20 years that they're going to take a single... Um, a single bomb from a dive bomber and that's kind of going to be all she wrote but hey let's not foresight a little bit okay good oh I need to come up with a name for these well in fact I'll uh, I'll do the same as last time and I'll leave it open we can all we'll update it Um, no that's a ship name not a class name alright sticking with our bird theme we're going to have the uh, flamenco class sweet I haven't built flight deck. Oh, oh, is it just uh, like s cruiser catapults I have built? Okay, we will add these later on, and I'll I'll leave the weight, but we can add them later on. Uh, unsurprisingly, too many secondaries. Uh, okay. Okay, you're hurting me now. My grand designs. All right, how many are you gonna let me have? Hardly any. You're upsetting me now. So our other option is, it's gonna limit their use early on is we just drop this down to, or we even leave it at five, add some more of these, and we refit them to your purpose later on in life. Uh, so we can gonna go more of our wings, please. Let's go for aft wings. And forward wings. And then we'll just turn these into dual purpose. And in the meantime, we can just stick it full of these things. Okay, bit of compromise. It's got 200 tons left. We all need 40 for catapults. It still leaves quite a lot. Ah, tertiary mounts. And in fact, these things also we can pull off without a uh, real impact later on. So we'll just, we'll just fill it full of those. Okay. Excellent. Got to adjust this when I had put on all my tertiary mounts. Perfect. Uh, is it a little on the low side? Uh, you're right, it is, especially if we want to turn these into dual purpose later on. I think that'll do. Okay. This builder. Beautiful. I tend not to go for CVLs. I tend to end up going straight into the CVs, but given our restrictions, it's interesting. Quadruple turrets, yes, please. I also would like some refreshed destroyers as well with all these beautifully new torpedo things we have. Motor torpedo boat squadrons, we don't need that. A float plane scout, do I want you? Uh, you cannot go as, you're not as fast, you're not as far, you seem terrible. Okay, uh, let's go for one more month. We need to fill the post of Neil Tashi to Denmark. All right, I don't really care about this. I am also cause a little bit of date. I'm going to build a couple of flamencos. Do you need to think of a second name for it? It will do probably off camera. Um, and we're still we're gaining money here still. Our ship our our ship lays are now full, so we can't 
putting more ships in and we need to do something in 20 months either have a war or we're going to be 24,000 tons over our treaty limit which is fairly substantial so we'll have to work on that anyway uh i'm gonna call it on to here so not really how i expected this episode to end up i definitely thought we we're gonna be in war but kind of as we're going through it uh, i like i like the idea of having these cvls kind of be able to spring upon our opponent so really we want kind of maybe a year of peace and then straight into war i'm a little worried about our inability to spend our budget though uh, as that uh, is eventually going to get them to taking our money off it but i'm sure we can find ways and means actually we could just increase our air force that's always a money sink anyway hope you enjoyed this one and i'll catch you all in the next one Cheerio.